right, we're talking delicious food today. We're here with Chef G. If you don't know him, you need to go visit him at Dragonfly Wine and Sushi Bistro. You're going to be making some rolls for us today. Tell me what you're making, Chef G. We are going to make today uh, yuzu rainbow. Yuzu means uh, Japanese citrus. Okay. So a little bit citrus type of uh, rainbow roll. Uh -huh. And we are going to show also tuna, salmon, yellowtail, nigiri. Nigiri means uh, sushi uh, rice bowl uh -huh. and the fish on top. That's the nigiri. We are going to show that. Okay, and it's fresh, fresh, fresh. We yes. were talking that you get your your fish, your sushi actually flown in, so it's absolutely fresh. Yeah, we get the fish normally from Hawaii or LA, so they deliver by airplane, so we go pick it up normally. Oh. Yeah. All right, so you're getting <laughs> fresh stuff at Dragonfly. If you haven't been there, you need to check it out. All right, let's get started. It's an art. Making yeah. sushi is an art, and you give classes here yeah, in El Paso. A, yes, we do sushi class. Um, so, bowl of rice, okay. like uh, smaller than baseball okay. size, and then put on the middle, and then just uh, lightly spread out. Ah. Yeah. It's not like a pushing, so, and then cover all the way. That's it. Mm -hmm. But when you put the rice, lightly, okay. lightly just touch up, so it doesn't break the texture. If you break uh, or push too much, the rice texture, uh, like cake. Okay. And so you don't just want that. Okay. Highly spread up. Okay. That's it. Okay. Easy. <laughs> yes. It looks easy. Well, you make and then it if easy. you put the sesame seed, uh, sesame roasted seeds. sesame seed is best the texture. Okay. When you buy it, and then just uh, turn it over, but make sure cutting board wet. Okay. So light doesn't stop on the cutting board. Okay. That's it. And then put the stuff on inside, and then roll it. And so that's a rainbow it. roll has uh, normally California roll. We are California saying. roll. So we use. Uh, Real crab meat. Real crab meat? Yes. We have uh, normally California when you when they say it's a uh, fake imitation crab meat. That's uh, delicious. It's uh, made with uh, crab uh, extract and uh, fish. Okay. But this one is uh, blue crab meat. Okay. So we are using this blue crab meat. And then cucumber and avocado. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh. When you put the stuff, Try to put even, even, same amount. Okay. So when you buy this side, this side, the text. You get good yeah, on both sides. Yes. Okay. Same taste. Okay. And then avocado. Just prep everything pre-cut. Okay. And just put. That's probably what takes the longest, isn't it? The pre-cut, the prepping. Yes, prepping is. Uh, is your longest part? Yes. Because rolling <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. So it should come like this. Like a little taco. And then when you roll it. Just to make sure inside no uh, air. Okay. Try to make it tight. So roll it just. There. So from one side, slightly tight. Tight, tight, tight. Each section tight, roll it. That's it. <laughs> and then you just put the fish on top. So ah. I'm gonna put the tuna, uh, yellow tail, different color, opposite. Salmon, ah. and then white fish. Ah. This way. Very and then, nice. And then you can put the jalapeno in between avocado or citrus, lemon, whatever you want. So easy. You can uh, really get avocado, creative with it. Yes. Any way you want to eat, you just put on top inside. It so looks you can so create good. your roll. Now, it, it looks really easy to make. Yeah. You've made it look so simple, but I, instead of making it at home, I think I'd rather go to your restaurant and eat it because made by a, a chef who specializes in this, well, there's nothing like it. Thank you so much, Chef G. We appreciate it. And, of course, if you haven't been to Dragonfly, check them out. We're going to have a link to their website on our website. Go head on over to KTSM.com, Studio 9 tab. We're going to dig into this. He's going to continue making sushi as well. Thanks so much, Chef G. Thank you.